Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Kathy. If you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, welcome to my channel. Today I have a special video for you guys. I'm going to give you some tips on how to be productive during this quarantine, isolation. These tips have helped me a lot. I even filmed a improved quarantine routine edition that will be up after this video. So if you want to know what these tips are, keep on watching. By the way, self promo real quickly. I've been active a lot on Instagram, so if you want to follow me in there, it's signing with Kev. Okay, let's go. Let's jump into the video. So the first tip I have for you guys is plan. I know it seems obvious, but it is important, especially in these times when you don't know how your day would look like. But how should you plan? So the first step is to make a week schedule. You can use a agenda or you can use a whiteboard. That is also very nice. The first step is to write down everything that has the highest priority. So things that you need to do or attend. For example, deadlines, online lectures or online seminars. After that, write down things that have less priority but still needs to be done. For example, doing groceries, doing household chores, etc. And then after that, you write down things that you want to do. So for example, exercise, reading a book, pampering yourself, etc. Don't forget to always plan breaks. I'll talk more about that later. And also something really important is to leave some space to move your to-dos around. Second tip is, seems also really obvious, is to get enough sleep. So regulating your sleeping schedule. I myself been struggling a lot with it, still am, but here are some tips that can help you. So the first tip is to use a application like for example sleeppot i use that app to track my sleeping schedule and a second tip is to also choose a hour that you will not look on a computer screen or a phone screen anymore at night because that blue light even if you put the night mode on that helps you a lot though putting the night mode on on your phone if you still need to be on your phone right before you go to bed but for example on your computer screen you have the blue light coming from it and that will give you no sleep so you will not become sleepy because of that blue light it will keep you awake so a good thing is to try to not go on your laptop or watch tv right before you go to bed so you can sleep earlier and also this may not help everyone but because it depends where you live but but also a thing that's been helping me a lot is to leave my curtain a little bit open so the sun can shine uh, in the morning because that wakes me up you know if you have light in your room you feel like okay the day has started I have to wake up I'll, I'll say it again it doesn't work for everyone because it depends where where you live for example also in the Netherlands not every day we have good sun today it's really nice weather but it's not every day like that and also depends where your house is situated because also if the sun if the sun will shine in your room or not but that has also helped me a lot so guys get enough sleep because lack of sleep leads to being less productive and you cannot concentrate the whole day so definitely get your seven to nine hours of sleep third tip attire yes you heard me attire what you are wearing has influence on your mood and on your productivity. So don't wear your pajamas when you want to be productive. So for example, if you're following an online lecture or you want to work, don't wear pajamas. Because you will mix up your brain. Your brain will tell you, oh, actually I need to go back to bed. But that's not what you want when you want to be productive. So now you're thinking, what do I have to wear then to be productive? So actually it doesn't need to be any fancy clothes or something. It can just be comfy clothes, like for example, sweatpants, some sweater or a nice shirt. And you will still feel that you're at home, maybe not at work, but you will be more productive. And also one thing, you can also work your work attire. No one's stopping you. You're at home, you can do what you want. So if you feel like you need to uh, you need to wear your work attire to feel productive to feel like you're at work do that girl like go you or do that boy like do you but it doesn't need to you can do that too and a tip for my 
girls and guys that want to exercise more during this quarantine one of the tips I've been following and it's been helping me a lot is before I go to bed I put my exercise clothes in front of my bed so maybe on my couch or I hang it on my closet and when I woke up the first thing I see are the exercise clothes and those remind me that oh yeah I need to exercise so that's a nice tip second tip is to also wear your gym clothes while you want to be productive so during the day because you'll remember oh yeah I have my gym clothes on like there's no other reason why I don't have to exercise so that's also a really nice tip that has been helping me a lot fourth tip is to shower before you start being productive yes you heard me so for example before you start following a lecture or before you start working because it wakes you up your body will get will get woken up by the by the feeling of the water on your skin and it's also a it's also a sign to your brain like yo i started the day like i showered so i need to start being productive if you don't have time to shower before your lecture or before you have to start working another nice tip is to splash some cold water on your face that will wake you up instantly and that helped me a lot when i didn't have time to shower in the morning before my online lecture and don't forget to change into your comfy clothes if you don't take a shower fifth tip create a workspace in your house in your room for you so don't go working in your bed don't go working on your couch it will not help if you work in your bed you will most likely watch netflix fall asleep and if you work on your couch you will most likely watch tv watch netflix or fall asleep so don't do that but find a place that is quiet and that has no distractions and also where you can sit properly so where you have a desk or a table and a chair Tip number six, keep your place clean because a messy place means a messy mind and you don't want that when you want to be productive. And especially keep your desk or your table clean where you work. Seventh tip is to get rid of distractions. So put your phone away. Hide your phone somewhere in your room or somewhere in your house or give it to someone if you are not living alone. And also put your phone in do not disturb mode because if you still hear your phone going off you will most likely go to it and be distracted and not be productive and also your phone is not always the only distraction you have so get rid of all distractions so for example if you have a game console i see so many people playing animal crossing right now so if you have that put that also away if you have a favorite book that you want to read put that away if you have a Nintendo Switch or iPad or every entertainment device or everything that you know will distract you, put them, hide them away. That will really help you when you want to be productive. So let's go back now to a topic that I briefly mentioned earlier before and that is taking breaks. For most of us right now, our home where we relax has also become our temporary workplace. And also most of us and me myself sometimes forget to take breaks taking breaks is very important because it will refresh your mind but also it will overcome a burnout or anxiety attack one tip that has been helping me a lot is to try to finish your work before the weekend or choose a day in the week your day off I know some people cannot do that because some people have to work 24 hours a day or have to work during the weekend but try to take breaks in between because that is very important for your productivity and your sake and your health tip number nine lift up your mood i know that these days your concentration level and your motivation level can be very down and also you have thoughts like i still have to work and still have to do my uni work while a pandemic is going on i've been there too i've i've had those thoughts so something that have helped me a lot is to put up encouraging quotes nearby my workspace so really motivational encouraging encouraging quotes you can write them down you can also print them out and 
and put them on your wall or put them on your desk that has helped me a lot and one thing also to try to remind yourself why you chose this study why you're doing the study or why you're doing this work also writing it down can also help you a lot so if you have those thoughts again you can look at the note and remind yourself why you chose the study or why you chose this work and don't forget guys it's a weird situation for us all so it's okay to have your down days it's normal we're people and the last tip i have for you guys tip number 10 is to let it all out like i said before we're in a weird situation we've never expected this so don't be afraid to talk to your family friends about your worries this has helped me a lot so talking to my parents and my sister and one of my good friends about my feeling towards the situation and my worries and this will really help with your productivity because your brain will have more space to concentrate on your work or on your study and guys don't forget we're all in this together you are not alone and after a dark tunnel there's always a light and that was my video guys i hope these tips will help you these have helped me a lot so i hope these are helpful tips that you can use during this quarantine thank you guys so much for watching can we get this video to 10 likes and give it a thumbs up also if you liked this video and also comment down below one another tip that maybe i didn't talk about or a tip that you've been using that is really helping you during this quarantine so leave them in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and also if you want to support me please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot i would really like to get the dozen subscriber this year and also follow me on my socials on my instagram i'm really active on there or on my twitter and i'll see you next video bye guys